So this is the Filmmakers Talk Show. Uh, why don't you guys introduce yourself? Uh, smooth tur- I'm Smooth Turtles here. And yeah, filmmaker, co-founder of Nerdshack Films. Check that out. Uh, my name's uh, my name's Aaron Roberts. I'm a, uh, a filmmaker. You know, I do all sorts of uh, crazy stuff. And no matter and no matter what um, no matter what some might say, it's all legal. You can't prove otherwise. Fail. And uh, my name's Toto, and um, go by Toto's Funtime Studios and. And I have a couple of films that I do on the channel and blogs and stuff. And yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. So, uh, any crazy films you all saw this week or this month? Oh, were we uh, supposed to watch something? Oh, no. I don't know. I just, I was just scrolling through Tubi and stuff. And because two is completely free, like oh, I gotta pay shit for it. So, and I've been watching an anime. It's like Nagiyasu a Bull in the Sea. It's an anime. It's a show. It's not really a movie, but uh, we're talking about real movies, not cartoons. I'm joking. Uh, I'm joking. Fancy, aren't we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What are you? What are you? A little. Baby, watching uh, oh, animated little baby movies. Okay, how many little baby movies did you watch then? Yeah, I'm um, uh, you know what? I watched um, uh, I watched Fight Club and I watched The Matrix. Yeah, movies that are for grown men. <laughs> movies that are for movies that are for adults. M- movies, you know, I watched I watched Ted and I and then I watched Ted Two. Oh. And because those are grown up movies. Oh, oh, oh yeah. What about uh, Deadpool and Wolverine? Those might tickle some balls. <laughs> yeah. That tickles well, the hey, You know what? Yeah. Balls were made to be tickled. <laughs> the only, it's the only comfortable way to touch them. Uh, <laughs> but hey, you know, um, Deadpool Wolverine. Yeah, I, I watched that. I yeah, saw it. Was I still have to watch that. Like I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> oh, you haven't oh, watched okay. it. All right, no yeah, spoilers, guys. That. No spoilers. We don't want anyone. We don't want our listeners being spoiled. <laughs> okay, so so I should not say that Spider Man appeals. What? How could you say that? How could you say Spider Man appears? <laughs> What's next? Are you gonna tell him that? Are you gonna tell him that the cast of Game of Thrones were all there? Oh shit! I, I accidentally gave away an important plot point. <laughs> oh oh yeah, the cast of Game of Thrones was all there. They were doing you musicals. Yeah, you know what? We might as well. You know, we might as well just give away everything. You know, there. The, well, like um, uh, yeah. Let's just describe the whole plot of Deadpool and Wolverine. They were fighting. They were fighting. <laughs> And that's what they were doing. <laughs> so, um, so not too many people knew this because they didn't put it in the marketing. But, um, uh, but the movie is a musical uh, with original songs by Lin Manuel Miranda, and uh, well, well, half of them were written by him, and then you know, and then they like got an Alan Menken to do one, and then they got like the Dear Evan Hansen guys to do one, and oh, you yeah. know, and it was all, it was all kind of a jumbled mess. But you know, I mean, the songs, I'm a uh, Ranged from like okay to like you know pretty good, uh, but yeah, it was. Um, uh, Ryan Reynolds can't sing to save his life. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, I think yeah. I think the only reason they made it a musical was because Hugh Jackman was in it, and you know, and he has got that whole Broadway background. So they're like, we're getting Hugh Jackman in our movie. We got to get him to sing, you know. So I like that was the only reason. Yeah, and I think I know Hugh Jackman was in the Greatest Showman, so that had him work for, work for that too. Yeah. 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 He was in Oklahoma. He was yeah, in the I know, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know everybody knows him as Wolverine. So. He hosted yeah. the Tonys I, one year. I, I, I mean, I, if I have to say, I mean, like, Wolverine did, uh, killed Deadpool. And. Yeah. Shocking when he killed Deadpool. Yeah, and, and only halfway through the movie too. Yeah, and then like the movie ends, and I was like, "What the heck?" 
That's how the movie yeah, ends. No, like, it, like, I mean, when it said Deadpool and Wolverine, I didn't think we were going to get one half Deadpool, one half Wolverine. You know? Like, I thought we were going to get them both together the whole movie. But no, that's only like two scenes. And then Wolverine kills Deadpool. And, yep. you know, mm. and like most of the scenes that are in the trailer, like 90% of the trailer isn't even in the movie. Like, now that I think about it, I think they literally just shot stuff to like fake people out for the trailer. Oh, you know? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, they, they definitely did. They, they, they yeah. yeah, there were there were scenes in the trip like they shot Matthew Mc, McFit, um, uh, Matthew McFadden, hmm. um, uh, like he was in the trailer. He does not appear a single scene in the movie. He's not in the movie at all. Yeah. Oh, which is which is insane. Yeah. I and, mean, like. And, and the movie was like showed anyway. So like, folks, it yeah, was. I'm surprised. I'm surprised there isn't more controversy around it. Yeah, I mean, like, Fosa started off of them going on a road trip, and then the next half is, like, them is like them getting abducted by the TVA, and I was like, what? Well, I mean, no, just Wolverine, because at this point, um, Wolverine's killed Deadpool. Oh, and I thought, yeah. I thought, like, we're, I thought they were faking it out. Like, I thought he was going to come back. You know what I mean? Like, I thought, like, oh, but then Deadpool never showed up for the rest of the movie. It, it, it was confusing. It was confusing. I was like, I I felt like I, I felt like I got, I felt like I got my money stolen from me. I, I mean, I feel like I was taken advantage of, you know, it's not right. It's, it's illegal is what it is. And you know what? I think, I think by law, we are allowed to. Uh, we are allowed to set fire to those movie theaters now. Uh, All the ones that lied to us. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. Look it up. Um, it's the law that if you're not pleased with a movie, you can actually set a movie theater on fire. That's in the Constitution. Uh, I don't <laughs> think that is. Oh, have you read the Constitution, Toto? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm pretty uh, sure I read the Constitution. <laughs> oh, really? Well, then what's the Sixth Amendment? To commit death to the movie theaters? <laughs> God. No, no, no. That's, from a, that's, a, that's a subparagraph in Amendment, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's the Sixth Amendment? The Fifth Amendment? Oh, gosh. I'll have to look it up. Um... Well, okay. If you have to look it up, then you didn't read the Constitution, did you? So you don't know what's in the Constitution, and therefore you can't definitively say that in the Constitution it doesn't say that you can't set fire to movie theaters that it showed movies that displeased you. Okay. Check me. The game set match me. King me. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, fair enough. All right, guys. Let's stop talking about politics. Um, uh, let's get back to let's get back to the discussion of um uh, of Deadpool and Wolverine. What was your favorite? What was your favorite scene in the movie that was definitely a thing in the movie? Mm, probably where uh, Smooth Totos appeared, and 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 I was like, wait, what? He's Deadpool. That was, that was yeah. crazy. I mean, like, how did you get in the movie? Yeah, like I'm surprised we haven't talked about that. I bribed a couple of people. <laughs> oh, it's, okay. not Hollywood if you're, it's not Hollywood if you're bribing. If you're not bribing people. Uh, yeah. All right. Who did you bribe? Uh, well, I mean, you probably signed an NDA, so you can't name names. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, was it was one of the people you bribed uh, the director of the Night at the Museum trilogy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's the guy. Yeah, I don't know his All name. Right. I well, him. well, you're not breaking any rules. You know, you can actually um, uh, breach NDAs. Um, uh, not too many people, but you can know this, but you can breach NDAs if you use weird uh, loopholes and speak in code. And that's in the Constitution. Oh, yeah. That, that, that I know for sure. Um, yeah, everybody knows that. Uh, does anyone have any projects they're working on? Um, that world? Like, yeah, like any scripts you've done or... You guys want okay. to talk oh, about oh, any movies you want to make in the future? Show you want to talk about? Like, um, sure. Um, uh, I actually have um, uh, uh, I actually have a whole script right now that I'd like to read uh, word for word. Oh. Um, uh, you, guys can, 
you know, I'll just read it for like 30 seconds in the moment. Uh, I'll, I'll keep reading it. And the moment you guys are bored, uh, the moment you guys are bored, you can just you can just be like, stop it. Stop what you're doing right now. This is not about you, Aaron. Uh, OK, hold on. Let me, let me I got to find it. OK. So this was something um, uh, so this is something a friend of mine wrote in high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called Speed Dating. It's about speed dating. All right, check this out. Okay. <clears throat> All right. You know what? I'm not going to read you that. That that sucks. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to read you something else. Uh, All right. Okay. Okay. You know what? This is something. This is a passion project of mine that I've always um uh, that you know that I've been dreaming of for years. And um, um, and you know, I really want to know what you guys think of it. Um, uh, so I'm just gonna start. So I'm just gonna start reading it. I'm I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Um, uh, I might do some skipping around. Uh, okay, all right, okay. Um, uh, all right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Fade in. Exterior. Xanadu. Faint dawn. 1940. Uh, window. Very small in the distance. Illuminated. All around this is an almost totally black screen. Now as the camera moves slowly towards the window, which is almost a postage stamp in the frame, uh, other forms appear. Barbed wire, cyclone, fencing, and now, looming up against an early morning sky, enormous iron grile work. Uh, camera travels up to now what is shown to be a gateway of gigantic proportions and holds on the top of it a huge initial, K showing darker and darker against the dawn sky. Through this and beyond, we see the fairy tale mountain of Xanadu, the great castle, a silhouette as its summit, the little window, a distant accent in the darkness. All right. <clears throat> Dissolve a series of setups, each closer to the great window, all telling something of the literary, literally incredible domain of Charles Foster Kane. Uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm uh, I'm gonna skip ahead a bit because it's a lot of um. Uh, basically, we see um uh, how like it's this rich guy and how all this rich shit he has. Like he's got a whole private zoo, you know, all all sorts of cool shit. He basically lives in a castle. So we see um um um. Uh, all right, <clears throat> now we fast forward to um uh, interior Cade's bedroom, faint dawn, uh, snow scene, an incredible one, big impossible flakes of snow. I two picturesque farmhouse and a snowman a jingling of sleigh bells in the musical score now makes an iconic reference to indian temple bells uh the music freezes uh kane's old voice rosebud the camera pulls back showing the whole scene to be contained in one of those glass balls which are sold in novelty stores uh, all over the world a hand kane's hand which has been holding the ball relaxes the ball falls out of his hand and bounds down two carpeted steps leading to the bed. The camera following. The ball falls off the last step onto the marble, marble floor where it breaks. Uh, the foot of Caden's bed. The camera very close, outlined against the shuttered window. We can see a form. The form of a nurse as she pulls the sheet over his head. The camera follows this action up the length of the bed and arrives at the face after the sheet has covered it. All right. Mm-mm. Fade in. Interior of a pi- motion pr- picture projection room. Um, um, and then this is where we see the title. Um, uh, Citizen Kane. That's what I've decided to call it. Uh, and uh, and this is um, uh, and this is just the opening, right? And so the whole movie, we're left thinking, oh my god, what what's this rosebud thing? And so a reporter um, um, tries to like figure out what it is. And like he interviews all the people in, in, in Kane's life, trying to figure out like what does Rosebud mean? And I won't give it away, but it's really, really good. So what do you guys think? You think I got something with this? Yeah, I think you do. Um, yeah, I've showed it. I've told some people about it, and they told me it sounds like the greatest movie of all time. Uh, I, I mean, hey, we're live. and <laughs> yeah. yeah, I definitely didn't steal it. All right. Um, now, um, uh, now, now, does anybody else have any projects they want to discuss? I, I don't know how you're going to follow that, but good luck. 
Uh, you got anything, Kodo? Because mm. uh, I got a couple. I got a puppet movie I'm working on, kind of like a coming to age story, and uh, and it's kind of like my yeah, puppet. Well, depending on, sorry, um, uh, well, you know, depending on the age you are coming to, uh, you could get arrested. I said coming of age. Yeah, sure you did. All right. Um, <laughs> all right, keep going. Sorry, sorry, keep going. Puppet movie? Yeah, uh, well, my puppet comes to life, and uh, and, it, and it's kind of like um, tells a story about my puppet and I's relationship. Mm, nice. So wait, is, like, I'm a, is it like I'm a... So is the puppet like really alive, or is it all in the puppeteer's head? Um, really alive. Whoa, like Toy Story. Kinda. Yeah. So does the puppet like murder people? Mm, no. Oh. Well, okay. So what? What happens? What else happens? Mm, that's all I got so far. I'm, I mean, I'm still thinking about. It more like if what the story of more of the storyline and like how it will all like come together. Mm, yes, I, I see. I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. uh, what about you, Smooth Totos? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so uh, we respect people's identities, secret identities. Yeah, here. I I did a little script a while back. It was uh, Mayhem of the Soda Drinker. It was just some random idea I had in my head. And I just managed to write it by myself. Mm -hmm. Like, um, like I just, I think it was like a, there, like there's like these three people that are at the mercy of a may Soda Drinker's Mayhem or something like that. Mm. Yeah, like I wrote, I wrote it all out and everything. And I think I sent it to Toto and I sent it to a friend of ours. And then, mm. how long is it? I have like a roughly eleven. Like I had like eleven pages written, written all of it. Like I did it all by myself. Like yeah, like I did like all eleven pages of it roughly. So nice, eleven pages. Yeah, like that. I mean, I said that was actually my first solo script because all the other times I write with our friends, you know, like Prime and yeah, we love we all love Xenoid Prime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, unfortunately, he could not be here today. Um, um, I don't know why. So, shout out to Zenoid Prime. Cool. Yeah, shout yeah. out. Yeah, rest in power. <laughs> God. Yeah, rest in power, Zenoid Prime. Yeah. So let's talk about um. Uh, let's talk about the history of uh of Malcolm X. What's Malcolm X? You know what? Never mind. Um. Uh, I wasn't serious about that. I don't actually know anything about him. Yeah. You know who Malcolm X was? No. Oh. He was one of the Someone oh, joined. Hold on. Who is this? Hello.